need to understand what a self-image is. You may have heard that term before. So basically, a self-image is the answer to the question, describe yourself to me. Who are you? Right? If somebody uh, wanted to know who you are after you were dead, what would you tell them? Right? Or what would you put on a dating site? Who are you? Right? So that consists of what you think your personality is. I am nice, I am mean, I am smart, I am stupid, I am successful, I am a failure, I am interesting, I am boring, outgoing, shy, any of those types of things. I am happy, sad, stressed, calm, any of that. So, it's basically a story in our head. A story in our head of who we think we are, and there's a picture usually to go along with it. And it consists of memories, images, and and all different types of ideas of who you think you are, okay? But the key thing to understand about that is it's not real, all right? Where is any of that in this moment? Who are you? Where is success or failure right now in reality? In this moment, where's happy or sad? Where's nice one being selfish or unselfish? Good mom, bad mom. Good at your job, bad at your job. Accounting, lawyer, unemployed. Where is that in reality? Now, other than as a thought in your head. Where is your nose? Now, where is nice one being smart or stupid? It exists as a thought. It's not real. And since it exists as a thought, it is incredibly fragile. So why does it matter that the ideas in your head are fragile? It matters because anything can impact it. So why do we care about someone's opinion? Because in order to think you are nice, you need others to tell it to you. In order to think you're good at your job, you need others to tell it to you. So if you have an identity, I am a, a good mom, or good at my job, then when someone compliments you, it reaffirms that story in your head. Yay, I'm good. It confirms it, it strengthens it, it makes it stronger, it makes you feel it more. I am good at my job, right? Or it improves it. I thought I was good, but now I feel like I'm really good. So a positive opinion confirms, reaffirms, strengthens our positive idea of ourselves. Or a positive opinion further improves the idea of ourselves. But on the other hand, a negative opinion, an insult, right, a criticism worsens our opinion of ourselves. Right? So if we think I am good a good mom and then someone insults us for not spending time with our kid or for being on our phone while we're with our kid, well then our idea of ourselves, I am a good mom, slightly worsens. Or, if you think you're a good mom and someone insults you, it pokes holes in that idea. Right? Or you think you're nice or caring, it pokes holes in it. It was strong, I'm caring, I'm good mom, I'm nice, I'm smart. But when someone insults you, well then a little question comes in, am I? It weakens a little bit. So, the opinion itself that you hear doesn't actually directly affect you. What affects you is your belief in their words. Okay, I'll say that differently so that you get it. Or maybe I'll give you an analogy. Right, so if, I'm not sure if this is an analogy actually, but it's something to help you understand it. Um, if you just perform, right, or give a speech or talk in front of people, and you think they love it, you think they agree and they think you're smart, or they think you're funny, whatever it is for you. How do you feel? You feel nice, yeah, they love it. Even if they don't, right? So if they don't love it, if everybody in the crowd hates it, but they clap, and you interpret that clap to mean I am good, they love it, then you feel good. It doesn't matter whether they actually love you or not, whether they actually think you're great or not. If you believe that they think it, you feel fine. Right? If your friends come up to you and say, you did a great job, but underneath it they're thinking, oh my God, that was terrible. If you believe it when they say you're great, you feel great. Right? It's not, your feelings are not created by their opinion. It's created by the opinion in your head, the belief in their words. Right? If somebody, if somebody, um, if they all think that you're great, right, when you perform, you somehow interpret their clapping to me. Uh, it wasn't loud enough. They would have given me a standing ovation, or 
I didn't see their facial expressions to be excited. You can feel bad even if they, they love you and think you're amazing. You're not directly impacted, emotionally impacted by their opinions. You're impacted by the thoughts in your head.